Hello, today we're going to review remediating accessible PowerPoint presentations. I advise you to watch our video on creating accessible PowerPoints before viewing this one. Let's start. Once you have the basics of creating accessible PowerPoints down, it's pretty easy to know what to look for when remediating a PowerPoint. First, start by checking your properties. Select File, Info. On the right hand side, you'll notice a listing of properties. Ensure that the title and author fields are filled out. If not, input the appropriate information. Secondly, similar to Word, PowerPoint has a built-in accessibility checker. Go to File, Info, check for issues, check accessibility. As the checker displays, there are several images in need of alt text. However, with further examination, it seems the first two issues refer to these decorative images. As we learned in the previous video, decorative images that convey no meaning to the presentation are better suited as a part of the master slide. Let's copy one of these images, then delete the extraneous ones, deleting one from each slide. Now go to View, Slide Master. I'll now place the image on the pertinent slide layouts. Close the Slide Master. Moving along, we need to review the reading order of each slide. Recall, reading order is the way in which your content is read to a person using a screen reader. On the Home tab, select Arrange Selection Pane. Typically, content should be read as follows. Title, Content Placeholder, then the rest is up to you. As we reviewed in our last video, content is read from the bottom up on the Selection Pane. As we can see with this slide, the content placeholder is going to be read before the title. This may confuse some readers. To fix this, select Title and drag it to the bottom of the list. Ensure you check each slide for proper reading order. Once the structure of your PowerPoint is accessible, you can then check and remediate the content of your presentation. This includes tables, links, non-decorative graphics, lists, and color contrast. Please review our video on creating accessible PowerPoint presentations for detailed accessibility information on these topics. One last thing I wanted to touch on. Because of the built-in shapes tool that is default to PowerPoint, you can access them by selecting Insert Shapes. Presentations often include process flows as graphics. A process flow is a diagram that's used to convey meaning. The tools make it very easy to build one from scratch in PowerPoint. However, it's important you provide the correct alt text for this kind of graphic. If I close my selection pane and open my accessibility checker, you can see the system wants you to provide alternative text for each shape. This is incorrect. The appropriate way to provide alt text to a process flow is to group all the shapes by selecting each one, and grouping them together. You should only provide alt text for the group, not individual items. To do so, select the group, and right select Format Shape, the third symbol at the top of the pane, and write your alt text in the description field. Make sure you provide adequate wording and instruction for the flow of your diagram. And that's it. Remember, once you understand how to create an accessible PowerPoint, there are only a few additional steps in remediating one.